How you doing? This is Sam Tolley with In Him First, where we view the world through the lens of Jesus Christ. We do not view Jesus Christ through the lens of the world. You know, in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28, it reads as follows. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So God gave us the command to subdue the earth. That means to utilize everything that God gave us on the earth for our benefit. I think many of people in my generation, uh, the 60s generation, the love generation, we decided to subdue our brains instead of the earth. And what I'm about to show you, maybe you ought to bring little children over here, because many of them, I'm sure, don't even know what the heck this is. This is a grocery bag. When I was growing up, our groceries from the store used to come in these things all the time. And, you know, we used to use these to bring our groceries home, of course. But then as kids, you know, sometimes we would cut them out and use them to draw, get our crayons and stuff if we ran out of our coloring books or whatnot. And as school children and teenagers, we'd take them also and make uh, book covers. Now this is a clean book cover. Of course, in my generation, we draw on them or put the name math or science or whatever the heck it is. But this is just for an example. But then we got these folks that instead of wanting to subdue the earth, thought we needed to protect the earth, protect trees and everything. I mean, I remember reading recently about somebody that chained themselves to a tree. They were going to save this tree from loggers. Well, they might have saved the tree from a logger, but a bear came and ate them. So. So much for that. But nevertheless, the trees. You know, we were, these people wanted us to save the trees, so they wanted to stop using paper. So what happened? They started using plastic bags. So we had plastic bags all over the place. And then they started, well, what about the whales and the sea lions and all this stuff? And, and then it gets in the environment and then, you know, it's not biodegradable and it becomes waste, you know, hazardous waste. So then they said, we don't want you using plastic bags anymore. You got to bring your own bags. You either bring your own bags or we charge you for bags. Now in California, the once great state of California where I live, they charge you 10 cents a bag when you go to the grocery store. If you don't bring your own bags. I've tried on numerous occasions to give them that 10 cents, but I just can't do it. You know, I'm not going to give them 10 cents for a bag. Who gets the money anyway? When the, when, the, when the price of the bags were already inside, you know, buying groceries. And by the way, I will confess, I spent 10 cents for this bag, and I spent another 10 cents or a separate bag so I can use these examples. That's the only reason why I spent it. So, while we're saving trees in California, these enlightened folks that run the country, or excuse me, that run the state, didn't want to chop down trees. So the forest got overgrown. And if you haven't heard, we recently had a bunch of mass fires in California. It took out a, I think, a little community called Paradise. It took out a lot of places. There's still hundreds of people unaccounted for because of the fires. Because of the raging fires where these folks wanted to save the trees. Listen, paper is biodegradable. You can tear it. You can use it, like I said, for things that I mentioned. I ought to tape this thing up so I can 
10 cents for it. You can take your trash out with it. You can use it for book covers. You can draw on it. You can do all kinds of stuff with paper. With the paper bag. And trees grow. We can plant more trees. So instead of worrying about plastic, they should have left the dead gum paper alone. You know, I think it's Santa Barbara. Right now, you can go to jail if you give somebody a plastic straw at a restaurant. I mean, we have gotten to the point in this state where things are just totally out of whack. I remember years ago, I think it was in the San Francisco area, where like with Starbucks, you know, they would give you these little sleeves to put your coffee on. I don't go to Starbucks, but that's another story. And with those sleeves to keep your coffee from burning your hands, well, they wanted to recycle the, the sleeve so other people can use it. <laughs> and they had little areas, I guess, uh, where you can leave those sleeves. But what happened was folks started getting sick from using that mess that somebody else had to who knows what the heck they did with themselves. Because as it is right now in San Francisco, you can sit around and shoot up dope on the street um, and leave your needles and syringes and bathrooms and all this other nonsense. That's just like... Just like, for example, in the Starbucks thing where you had this controversy over serving some people recently. Now they let anybody go in there. Some of these Starbucks have installed syringe uh, containers. So when the drug uh, shooters come in there and shoot up, they, they're hoping that they'll put the syringes in the containers that are leaving it on the floor so the next customer come in there and poke themselves. So like I said, in California, many of us in my generation subdued our brain. I mean, they smoke too much herb, acid, or whatever. And many of us, unfortunately, are still doing the same idiotic thing. And there's not much gray matter working. But unfortunately, too many of the citizens have allowed these people a place of power. And they run the state. And you know, think about this. They always talk about, I want to help the poor. Well, if the poor is poor, which they are, how can they afford 10 cents a bag for their groceries? Now, if they're using these recyclable bags or these, these, <clears throat> these big canvas bags, whatever the heck people have, what if their meat leaches into that thing? Do you think they're going to put that bag in the washing machine when they could be washing clothes? You know, just... Just making it for more contamination, more germs, more pestilence, more stupidity from the folks that run this state. So I say, bring paper bags back and don't charge us for them. Just leave the paper bags, let them do what they can do. I'm for recycling stuff, I'm for the saving the environment, but I'm for subduing the earth like the Lord said. He gave us the stuff. Just like the fossil fuels, gas and oil and coal, he gave us that to use. Use it. All this other stuff is dumb. You know, these people talk about, well, we want to get uh, recyclable energy. We want to go all electric cars and stuff like that. People don't think about the fact that those electric cars use batteries. Those batteries, the manufacturer of those batteries, cause massive pollution. And then... What's going to happen with the batteries when they're no longer any good? And another thing, this really cracks me up about the electric car thing. People take their electric cars home and they plug it into the wall to charge it up. Where does the electricity come from? The electricity isn't coming from a whole lot of hydroelectric area in California. It's coming from either gas or coal or something or the few nuclear plants that we have left, if we have any, I don't know. But you've got to use energy to get energy. So why waste energy to get energy that's only going to take you about 150 miles and you got to find some other place to plug it into? This is all dumb stuff. If we start using our common sense, we start using the logic and the brains that God has given us, we can have a decent environment, we can have food on our tables without spending unnecessary money for paper bags, 
or or this carbon credits and all this other nonsense that they're looking for. We can just live. It's easy, people. Just use your brain. This is Sam Tolley, and I'm out.